This is the best one yet. Nicola Sturgeon not only annoys unionists, of course, on an hourly basis, but we get over it because we're reasonable people and we just keep chipping away. And eventually she will go, of course. But she's managed to annoy her own following once again. Not by what I said a few weeks ago when she proclaimed that she is British as well as Scottish, which annoyed many people. But she's now managed to annoy them by signing, of course, the pledge to protect the Protestant Church of Scotland. But it's not just that. It's the fact that she went up to Charles and, of course, bowed her head like any respectful person should. Of course, she isn't a respectful person but clearly she couldn't do anything else in front of so many people watching, including the new king and king's consort. Her problem, of course, is that many of her supporters, through her propaganda, do her bidding and act like complete pricks. So they've now come out, many of them, and resigned Sturgeon was trend trending on Twitter, not this time because of unionists, but because of her own supporters asking her to resign saying that she should not be signing this register. she should. One of them even said she shouldn't even return the Queen's body, which, of course, she has absolutely no authority on whatsoever anyway. She's clearly annoyed a lot of people by doing what she's done and bowing to King Charles III. If you've seen the latest polls, she's doing herself no favours whatsoever. Support for independence is now dropping all the time. Her personal approvals are dropping and the... Typical politicians around her are sharpening their knives ready for a leadership challenge. She's even gone as far as to say that she will not be there forever and she may well step down at some point. I believe she will step down before the next general election should she fail in the Supreme Court, which I fully expect her to do. She will not get this through the Supreme Court and therefore she will have nothing left to go for and no support because she cannot achieve what she purports to want to achieve in the first place if that makes sense. Liz Truss should pass this legislation as soon as possible to ensure that there are strict conditions on what happens or what can happen sorry in a referendum and how a referendum can be triggered. Of course these conditions would never be met because they would never get 60% polling in favour of a referendum. She is finished, she is done, she knows it, she's now bowing to the monarch and supporting the UK. Good on Cranky.